Genesis, chapter 45. Then Joseph could not restrain himself before all those who stood before him, and he proclaimed, Make every one go out from me. And there stood no one with him, while Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud, and the Egyptians heard, and the house of Pharaoh heard. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph, is my father still alive? And his brothers could not answer him, so troubled were they at his presence. And Joseph said to his brothers, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph your brother, whom he sold into Egypt. And now be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves, that ye sold me here, for God sent me before you to preserve life. For these two years has the famine been in the land, and there are five more years, in which there shall be neither plowing nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant in the earth, and to keep alive by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me here, but God, and he has made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his house, and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Hasten ye, and go up to my father, and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me lord of all Egypt, come down to me, do not delay. And you shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near to me, you, and your children, and your children's children, and your flocks, and your herds, and all that you have. And there will I nourish you, for there are five years of famine to come, or you might come to poverty, you, and your household, and all that you have. And, behold, your eyes are seeing, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin, that it is my own mouth speaking to you. And ye shall tell my father about all my glory in Egypt, and of all that ye have seen, and ye shall hasten and bring my father down here. And he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck, and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck. And he kissed all his brothers, and wept upon them, and after that his brothers talked with him. And the report of it was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brothers have come. And it pleased Pharaoh well, and his servants. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, This do ye, load your animals, and go, get yourself to the land of Canaan. And take your father and your households, and come to me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt, and ye shall eat the fat of the land. Now you are commanded, this do ye, take yourselves wagons out of the land of Egypt for your little ones, and for your wives, and bring your father, and come. Also regard not your stuff, for the good of all the land of Egypt is yours. And the sons of Israel did so, and Joseph gave them wagons, according to the commandment of Pharaoh, and gave them provision for the way. To all of them he gave each man changes of raiment, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred pieces of silver, and five changes of raiment. And his father he sent after this manner, ten asses loaded with the good things of Egypt, and ten she asses loaded with grain and bread and provision for his father by the way. So he sent his brothers away, and they departed, and he said to them, See that ye fall not out by the way. And they went up out of Egypt, and came into the land of Canaan to Jacob their father. And they told him as follows, Joseph is yet alive, and he is ruler over all the land of Egypt. And his heart fainted, for he believed them not. And they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said to them, and when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob their father revived. And Israel said, It is enough, Joseph my son is yet alive, I will go and see him before I die. <laughs>